Hello, this is Raina and we today having a topic on Let's Grow Faith. So often in church I get this one question always asked to me and the question being, you know, I've been in church for two or three times that and I don't see any movement from God. And secondly, we live in a society these days, especially with young people, there's become more of what can I get than what I can give. And I often remind people, well, you know, if we all just get, 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 who gives? And I sometimes feel like people have this idea that God's like this lucky packet. You know, I've tried everything I can and, well, now I've come to church because it seems to be my last uh, sort of hope or to youth group or whatever. And I don't see God move. That's a little bit of a wrong idea of who God is. Because God's given everything already. He's given us Jesus Christ. He's given us the Holy Spirit. And He's given us a place to live, a universe. And, you know, at some point, we need to take some responsibility and make something of what was given to us. When we just follow instructions or what God tells us to do or Jesus, uh, things will be added. But we first got to show our commitment. You know, we can't just come around and then three weeks later, well, you know, I'm too busy now and off I go and do things and then expect God just to be there all the time. It is a relationship with each other. We should look up Jesus too as a person. He wants to spend time with us, but we need to make time for Him. So time is not just a quick Sunday service and then, well, Jesus eh? I've given you my time. No, it's a lifestyle. And thereby, He's also got feelings. And why do we expect Jesus and God just to drop everything when we need something, when we don't make the time for Him? At the end of the day, if we put Him first and God first, all the other things will just be added. So let me just read a verse in Hebrews 11, verse 2, or verse 3, sorry, it says, By faith we understand that the entire universe was formed at God's command, that what we now see did not come from anything that cannot be seen. So everything we see, comes from God. Oh, but I want this, I want that and that. <laughs> He's giving you a planet and everything to live on. That's up to you what you do with it. Let's go on. It was by faith that Abel brought a more acceptable offering to God than Cain did. Abel's offering gave evidence that he was a righteous man. God showed his approval of his gift. The interesting thing here, again, we always say, well, what can I get from God? Well, in this case, case Abel gave everything he had to God and God saw that as faith what wow. so that's one form of faith and thereby God saw it acceptable and he proved it and so sometimes we must just get back to realization that it's not always about me what I can get and so on but sometimes of what I can give to Jesus what I can give to God my time I make and even my offering and then you will see the blessings that God will bring onto your life. So again, I urge, rather making it about you, make it about Jesus.